Good morning Internet, Adam Bate here from B2Net Solutions. This morning we're going to do a quick demo video on removing or deleting MySQL databases within cPanel. Um, the last demo video we did sort of creating the, the database and the database user. Uh, this time around we're going to both delete the database and the database user in your cPanel control panel. So the first thing we're going to do this morning is log in to your account. And once you're logged in you'll see the cPanel dashboard um, Scroll down to MySQL Databases. Click on MySQL Databases and you'll see the similar screen we saw, saw last time. You'll have database, um, the bean underscore CMS. You'll have whatever your database name is here under current databases. Uh, if you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll be able to see current users and you'll see the database user. In this case, we have the bean underscore CMS user. Um, and if you remember from last time, we had connected them. So you can see up here in current databases, there is a user associated, <coughs> excuse me, there's a user associated with this database. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, like I mentioned, we're going to just remove the database and the database user. It's as easy as clicking delete database here under uh, current databases. Make sure you're deleting the one you want to, so make sure you match this up with whatever one you're you're looking to delete. Uh, in this case it's the bean underscore CMS, so let's go ahead and delete database. We'll need to confirm this um, to make sure we want to. Are you sure you wish to permanently remove the database, the bean underscore CMS? And yes, I do delete database. Deleted the database, so we click go back takes us back here. You'll notice there are no databases associated with your account now under current databases. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you uh, scroll to the very bottom, you'll see the user is still there. Um, in this case, yeah, the user was only created for that specific database, so we can go ahead and delete that user. Um, you know, Perhaps this user was associated with many databases. In that case, you'll want to leave it. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to ha go ahead and delete this user as well. So we're going to click on the red X under current users to delete the user we, we want to delete. And again, we'll need to confirm this again. Are we sure we want to permanently remove this user? Uh, yes, we are. So delete user. Click go back. And you'll notice there is nothing under MySQL databases at all. Um, basically takes us to the, the screen we started at the beginning of the, the video where we created the database. Um, and so we're back to square one and we can go through and create a new database if we wish or we're, yeah, we're free of that database altogether. Um, and that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, uh, open a support ticket with us or hit us up on Twitter at B2NetSolutions and look forward to hearing from you.